Good morning or good afternoon, good evening. This is a Sunday school lesson for first, second, third, fourth, and fifth graders for Mar uh, April, <laughs> April 11th, it's April. So um, hope everything is well. We are going to be starting a new story, Walking on Water. So um, what I'm gonna start, we're gonna be doing like a little science today too. So we're gonna do, um, well, you're gonna do at home, a test of buoyancy, buoyancy to help us understand this story of Jesus walking on water. So our storytelling time is gonna use a new way to read the Bible. Well, new to us, but it's a very old way called Lectio Divina. And it was used by monks to read scripture and it's still used today. So in Lectio Divina, we read the same part of the story three times and listen for different things each time. But instead of reading it three times to you, I'm just gonna read it once, all right? You can read it um, more than once after we're done if you'd like. And But I just want you to listen, okay? Um, I just want you to listen so you don't need your Bible. I want you to listen to um, to a word that kind of pops out at you during our reading time, okay? So for later, if you do want to read it on your own a different time, it's um, we're reading from Matthew. So Matthew, is that found in the Old Testament or the New? The New Testament. And we're going to Matthew 14. Chapter 14, verses 28 through 31. So that's what we're going to be reading. But um, just 28 through 31. Well, actually, I think I, it's very short. I am going to do that for the three times. So the first time I read, I want you to listen and decide what the word is most important to you. Like, what word do you hear in your heart when I read it? Okay? All right. So Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Now I want you to think about the word that stood out for you when I read that. And when I read the words again, say your word over and over in your head, okay? Thinking about how the word shows new things to you in this story. So here we go. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. So, G so Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, you of little faith, why did you doubt? So now we will read the scripture one more time. And this time I will pause at the end of each sentence, okay? And I want you to whisper your word aloud. Now I won't be able to hear it, of course, but you know, you can whisper it out loud wherever you are. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and beginning to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me.
Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? So this way of reading of the Bible is called contemplative. It's a big word, big word. And contemplative means quiet and thoughtful. So Lexino Divina takes some time and effort. So if no words came to you or nothing kind of, don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. So today our story is kind of about how much effort it took for Peter to trust Jesus and walk on water. And when we trust Jesus, even the hard things are easier. Okay, so in your bag for today, for Sunday school, you should have two things, okay? So some of you might have a can of diet soda and then a can of regular soda. Some of you will have an apple and a lemon. Some will have a toothpick and a wood block. Some of you are going to have a super bouncy ball and a ping pong ball. And the last group is just gonna have a plastic fork because then I would like you to go get a metal fork from your house. So what you're gonna do, um, well first, before we do our experiment, in the storytelling time, we did some hard work with that Luxiono Divina. Now we're here to talk about buoyancy. So does, do you know what buoyancy means? Well, buoyancy is the ability to float. Like when you're in a pool or, you know, for you float on your back and you're just able to kind of float there, right? Well, buoyancy force is determined by the weight of the water moved by an object put in the water. So if the buoyancy is pushing an object up in the water, then what is forcing, what is the force pushing things down? For some of the first, second graders, this might be a little difficult, but what's pushing down is gravity. So for an object to float, the buoyancy has to be greater than the gravity, right? The force of buoyancy is more than the force of the gravity. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna test out buoyancy with the two items that you have. So you can pause the video now you can go to like a kitchen sink or a bathroom sink and fill, you know, put the plug in and fill it up with some water and then put your two things in there and see what might float and what, you know, might sink. So pause the video now and do that. All right. So what did you learn about being held up by buoyancy? Hmm, what item of yours may be floated and what sunk? So remember, Jesus can hold things that are heavy, just like buoyancy can, right? So if life seems heavy, you know, ugh, like a lot of bad stuff, yucky stuff, it's good to know that Jesus can hold us up, right? So, um, that is our lesson today. That is our science and Bible together in a lesson to help remind you with the story of walking on water that Jesus, Jesus is there for us. That when things get heavy, when things might get yucky, Jesus is there to hold us up. And that's such a good feeling. Such a good feeling. So let us pray. Dear Jesus, surround us in your love. Hold us up in your love, Jesus, as we face the heavy situations in our lives. Amen. All right. Thanks so much for being with me this morning, this afternoon, this evening. And I'll see you next week for sure. Have a great week. Bye.